Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 27 and let's play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Okay, right now I'm in the Room of Rights and I gotta stop Twin Rova before it's too late. Now, in case you're wondering what room I'm supposed to go to, you have to pay attention to these statues right here. Remember, they're looking in three different directions. Some of them are looking right, looking up, and then looking down. You want to go in the direction they are not looking. In this case, it was left. You just have to go by a process of elimination. So I guess it's left again. Okay, and it looks like it's left yet again. Okay, now this time it's up. <coughs> and now it's right. Okay, let's see. Right. Okay, now it's up. There we go. And that was all, really. Oh, there's Zelda. Come to me, baby What? Well, this ain't good at all. So, Bonga, you finally reached the altar. Bother. We can't have you scampering about up here. So we dragged you in here. Oh, great. Now I gotta fight those two. The flames of sorrow, destruction, and despair burn brightly. The return of the evil King Ganon approaches. The holy sacrifice, Zelda, is all that remains. When we call Ganon's spirit into the vessel, it will be done. You can't stop us. Prepare to meet your doom. Okay, so now I gotta fight both of them. <coughs> In case you're wondering how to fight them, well, what they're gonna do is just gonna keep shooting magic. What you have to do is reflect their magic back into the opposite. Like say, whenever Kumi shoots fire, you have to launch it back at Kotaki, and vice versa. It can be a pain in the ass, and unfortunately, unlike Ocarina of Time, you cannot use the shield. You have to use your sword to do it. This is where it gets frustrating. So I hope you're good at baseball. Especially when they're flying around erratically. That's making this even more difficult. Aww. Aww, that was too close. That wasn't. That was close. Come on. Come on, I need better aim than this. There we go! Oh! I did not think you would get so far. But I shall not fall like Onyx and Varen. See my true power! Okay, like Ocarina of Time, they fuse. We'll sacrifice you so the evil king can return. Wait, so where does this leave Zelda then? Okay, this is what they do. They like to go from ice to fire. You use your sword to like do damage, and then you use a seed to take it out, take her out. Remember, when it's ice, you use the ember seed. When it's fire, you gotta use the scent seed, and I just picked up the wrong option, and then again, it doesn't matter. One thing I hate about fire is that even when you hit her, you can still get knocked into the lava. This is where the risk and reward comes in. She's not that hard, really. You just have to make sure you're in the right spot at the right time, and that was not it at all. If you had the steadfast ring, you can equip that to avoid this issue but I don't have it with me in my box. That way you won't get knocked into the lava. Okay, I gotta get a shot in. Got her! There, Twin Rova has been defeated. Oh ho! Ganon's return was but a step away! Bonga! It is not over. Our rights have failed. But by sacrificing this body, Ganon will return! 
Okay, so Twin Rova decides to sacrifice itself to bring back Ganon. So where does this leave Zelda? Remember, that's not the vessel they were looking for. I don't think this will work properly. <coughs> oh, Ganon has returned. Damn it, fuck the phone. Time out. Okay, I'm back, and hopefully I don't get interrupted, because I really want to get this big fight over with. Destroy all. Kill all. Okay, he sounds like a very disgruntled curmudgeon. But anyways, he doesn't have many attacks, so it is an interesting variety. Like, starting with a trident dash that you can easily jump past. And then fireballs you can easily jump over. So he has a lot of attacks you can dodge simply with a rock's feather. You just gotta watch for that pose. And he does a fair amount of damage just with his own body. Okay, when he does this, your controls get inverted and weirded out. But I still won. Whoa! I am the evil King Ganon. And you are the evil dead King Ganon. Oh, wait, I still gotta go over there. Oh, man, I gotta go see Zelda. Why can't they just do this for me? Uh, Bonga! It's ended! Thank you, Bonga! You halted the completion of the rites so that would revive Ganon! Since they could not sacrifice me in their final rite, the powers of darkness could revive only a mindless, raging Ganon! Your power, wisdom, and courage were able to prevent Twin Rova's planned resurrection of Ganon. Now hope and peace can return to the hearts of the people. Thank you. You are a true hero. Let us return to the others. Yes, let's do that. Oh no! Hang on a second, I gotta answer this text message. Okay, I'm done. The castle is crumbling now, and cheesy poos are falling on us. Let the powers of Shadow wane. We must get out of here! Huh, I thought that was gonna fall on Zelda's head. That would've been funny, though. Exclamation point! What do we do? We watch leaves fall down! That's what we do! Banga, you did it! I knew you could! Leave this to me! The Maku tree? Well, you're gonna warp Zelda out too, are you? Oh, I thought you were a selfish bitch, Tree. Welcome back, Bonga. Now the world is at peace. I knew you could do it, Bonga. And I knew you'd come back. Welcome back, Zelda. And you too, Bonga. It's all over, isn't it? I knew you would find a way, Bonga. Let us dance together again! Zelda, I am glad to see you return safely. Bonga, you are all I expected. I always believed in you. Damn right you should have, Impa. Bonga, the three triangles on your left hand symbolize power, wisdom, and courage. These were the mark of the hero who is fated to appear when peace crumbles in Hyrule. With the essences of nature and time, and the courage you possess, you have fought back the powers of evil! The guidance of the Triforce has made you into this legendary hero! Thank you, Bonga! Aw, thanks for kissing my earwax! And the macro tree is jealous. Wow, Impa looks ugly! Nice rack, though. And that's it! That's Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages for the Game Boy Color! Since I'm beating the Link version, you just get an extended ending. So I thought we'd enjoy that. Why not? So basically, you're just gonna be seeing a lot of scenes of pretty much everything. So why not enjoy it? 
Oh, yeah, the village never looked like that. Oh, Nairu has got some bread, so she's gonna make sandwiches for everyone. And everybody's flocking around Din the Dancer, or even the Goron. So anyways, I'm thinking about my next main project for a Let's Play, and I think it's gonna be Kirby's Squeak Squad for the Nintendo DS. I mean, I really wanted to share it with you guys, so I might as well do that next. Why not? So anyways, this is the Bonga signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Whew, I thought he was gonna punch Link in the face. You're gonna see some really nice scenes there, even the animal buddies. Link is sparring with Ricky. And Moosh is just looking like a moron, as usual. And there's Princess Zelda looking at the moon. I assume this is the rest of the credits, where nothing special happens. And this is the hero secret that allows you to enter into seasons, I guess, or play a hero's game that doesn't involve a linked version. Whoops, see you later, everyone!